Okay, in this uh, short tutorial for new Blender users, I'll show you some little tips that might help you make different models in the scene. So for instance, let me just put my cursor right there and I'll press Shift A and I'll add a sphere to the scene like this, all right? And you can take a look at it, it has all these facets you can see based on the lighting that I have set in here. Well, if I was to say go into edit mode with tab and subdivide this here with W, all right? And so we see a lot of those extra facets, but however, let's just remember those small little feet. There's like four in that one little region right there, and then I'm going to exit it. And But you don't see those four, right? And the reason is, is because all you've done, you've subdivided a flat face like this. You really haven't added any additional information to the sphere to make it more round. So if you just keep subdividing, or if you bring up the this menu, the toolbar with the T key, and if you were to come over here and press smooth shading, well that approximates it, but until you start looking at these edges like this, right? So then you still don't have a very smooth sphere like that. Alright, so go back to flat. Alright, now I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm going to I'm going to leave this menu, the toolbar up here like this. And I'm going to re-add another one instead. Shift A. I'm going to add a mesh so UV sphere again. All right. So before you do anything with this toolbar, you have these other options that pop up here down like this. And this is really great because what you can do is come in here and change this to say 64 and that to 64. And now I've suddenly significantly subdivided the mesh and you can see now along the edges how smooth it has become. Right. So then if you went to do a subdivision, you'd be subdividing each one of these flat faces you know to do it but this really can provide a lot more information if you want smooth edges and you can just watch the number of faces up here in fact if uh, if you've seen the tutorial I posted earlier today on complex numbers basically when I started the modeling process is I started it with a low resolution sphere so I could test the scene to keep it quicker and subsequently I've upgraded that significantly and I'm using a much higher resolution sphere similar to this and it kind of dawned on me that maybe some of you aren't aware of it. Because I remember I wasn't aware of this for a long time. I was always just using a regular subdivision and didn't know why it didn't look quite right. But you can keep track of your faces up in here with that. Well, so the same principle applies with something like a cone. Except the cool thing about cones is that, and other objects, is you can turn these into other shapes. So you, it's not just a cone necessarily. So I'll just exit this. And... I'll put another cone in the scene and the same thing applies in the toolbar see the number of vertices around here let me make this four right and suddenly have a little pyramid shape how nice is that right of course I better give it a color you know I have to give it a color it just doesn't work <laughs> otherwise that even needs a color there we go okay so well that kind of gives you an idea just keep an eye on this there's quite a few things that work like this that once you move them around in the scene uh, you see I've moved it like that then my ability to go change those back doesn't exist anymore alright so let me get rid of it and do it one more time shift A add the cone to the scene and actually it'll leave it back to what you had initially done but you can also change these other parameters in here like this I'll put it back to 32 so it sets it at a cone like this but then like I said once you start changing something then you're done with it for sure okay all right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.